Uh, right now, Justin Trudeau solved over 140 of them. But I want you to go back and watch that whole video because one, it's all right, 100% from start to end. But I also want to add one more thing because I am an Indigenous person and um, I was really inspired by Idle No More because of Stephen Harper's atrocious policies that he was imposing on Indigenous people. But I want to add one more thing that I, I just think that can't be understated enough or overstated enough. Um, in the last hour of Stephen Harper being in government, he exonerated the Catholic Church from paying Indigenous people the billions of dollars they owed us. And we still have not recovered all the records that we've requested in court over and over on Indian residential schools from the churches. So, you know, it, it, it's part church as well that makes conservatives so awful because they're Christian fascists. And anyone who supports a, Christ, or a, a conservative is supporting Christian fascism. And that's why uh, today I happily... Uh, protested against the UCP because Jason Kenney, Pierre Paul Vier, they were all a part of Harper's team and they hate Indigenous people. They've done absolutely nothing. Even most recently, the um, premier, actually, uh, Danielle Smith, she actually came out and said, you know, I got, I got a ribbon skirt and it's maybe, what, 40 bucks. And, you know, like on my other platforms, I'll I'll show and share Redmond Customs doing, um, you know, a s ribbon skirt making um, course. And it's almost $300. And that's just supplies. You literally still have to make your own skirt. I mean, it's going to be gorgeous and Redmond Customs is perfect. But that bigger picture is that there is not a conservative in this country that doesn't go out of their way to undermine us. And lastly, the thing that really grinds my butt about conservatives in Canada, they go to these little secret conventions to work on their talking points against Indigenous people and Indian residential schools in order to try to uh, continue to be the bigoted selves they are because they do not, under any circumstances, want to acknowledge it to be real and to, uh, you know, have any consequences to their settler racist actions. So that's my day-to-day -day reality.